Hey, Michael with X-Force PC. I want to talk today about installing Windows 11 without having to have a Microsoft account. You know, Microsoft does this really annoying thing where they require you to be online and sign in with a Microsoft account, but there's a way around it. So let's do that now. I've just installed Windows 11, and after the reboot, this comes up, and you know, it asks me what country I'm in, and what keyboard layout I want, and I want to skip adding another keyboard layout. Now it wants me to connect with an Ethernet cable so it can uh, have me do the Microsoft account thing. Do not connect to the Internet, number one. Number two, I'm going to hit Shift F10, that Shift and the F10 key, which will open up a command prompt. Some people call it a DOS box, but it's a command prompt. And for some reason, your cursor is not in here. You have to click one time to put your cursor in here. And I'm going to type in OOBE. That stands for, stands for Out of Box Experience. Backslash Bypass NRO. Obviously, we know what bypass means. I'm not sure what NRO stands for. I'm sure somebody will correct me in the comments. But um, the out-of-box experience is this whole thing that you go through when you set up a new uh, you know, Windows install. And I'm just going to hit Enter, and the computer is going to reboot and come back up. And then when we come back up, we're going to be able to continue the installation without having to be connected to the Internet and without having to use a Microsoft account. So let's see how that goes. And I'm not going to do any editing here because it's not going to take that long. All right, so we're coming back up again. We're not connected to the Internet. We don't want to be. And we'll have to answer the same questions again. United States, U.S. keyboard, no additional layout on the keyboard. Now there's this choice here. See where my mouse pointer is? I don't have Internet is now here. This was, shouldn't have been here before. Click on that and say continue with limited setup. And now you can continue without being connected to the internet. And look, I can just give it my name. And so your username to log into Windows will be whatever you put in here. I'm just going to put in Michael. And then if you put in no password here, then Windows will just boot straight into Windows. In other words, you'll turn your computer on and, and it'll just go straight to the Windows desktop, which you may or may not want. If you don't want it to go straight to the Windows desktop, then put in a password here. And then you just continue on. I mean, you can choose or to accept or any of these options. And then there you go. We don't have to put in a login with a Microsoft account and when this is done, gyrating will be at the Windows desktop, the Windows 11 desktop.